So now is maybe a good time to define what I mean by organic skincare. Um, organic um, means a type of, of agriculture where the plants have not been treated with herbicides or pesticides. And organic skincare incorporates as many of these ingredients as possible. Zdajemo vgoče dober čas, da opredelim, kaj sploh pomeni organska njega kože. Organski, torej pridevnik organski se uporablja v kmetistvu in pomeni, da to vrstno kmetistvo ne uporablja herbicidov in pesticidov. In pri organski njegi kože želimo, želimo uporabljati čim več to vrstnih izdelkov oziroma rastlin. So, why do we think that organic skincare actually helps the skin and gives great results? Well, Firstly, organic skincare, instead of having kind of a, an artificial base, uses um, plant-based ingredients. And these natural molecules are more compatible with the skin and the human body. Zakaj se nam torej zdi, oziroma zakaj menimo, da organska njega kože dejansko pomaga, pomaga naši koži? Kot prvo, organska njega kože ni umetna, temveč temeli na rastlinskih sestavinah, ki imajo takšne molekole, ki so bolj kompatibilne z molekolami naše kože in našega telesa. And this can help reduce the incidence of skin allergies. To lahko pomaga zmanjševati pojave kožnih alergij. In addition, um, the plants actually have something very positive to offer. The um, Various ingredients such as coconut oil, olive oil, um, jojoba oil and so on can help hydrate and repair the skin in ways that synthetic ingredients cannot. Poleg tega imajo to vrstne rastline tudi druge pozitivne lastnostni. Naprimer, kokosovo olje, olivno olje in tudi jojobino olje lahko vlažijo in obnavljajo kožo na tak način, kot jih sintetične sestavine ne morejo. And organic ingredients are especially rich in antioxidant vitamins, which can help counteract sort of the free radical generation. This is where um, the skin's connective tissue starts to break down and we get very wrinkly, um, which can lead to obviously premature aging. In pa um, organske sestavine so zelo bogate z antioksidantnimi vitamini. In ti oksidantni vitamini so pravzaprav tisti, ki prav se borijo proti prostim radikalom, ki pravzaprav povzročajo prezgodne staranje in gubanje kože. So why is organic skin care better for the environment? Well, by using more organic ingredients, we're increasing the amount of land that is grown according to organic standards. Zakaj je organska njega koža, kože tudi boljša za okolje? Z njo povečujemo površine zemlje, ki so obdelovane na organski in okolju prijazen način. This means we're not using the herbicides and pesticides that are beginning to reduce the number of different insects, bird and other wildlife species. To pomeni, da Pri tem ne uporabljamo herbicidov in pesticidov, zaradi katerih se število insektov, žuželk, vrst, ptic in drugih živali manjša. In addition, organic farming is actually 25% more efficient uh, in energy than conventional farming because pesticides are so um, energy intensive. Poleg tega je organsko kmetovanje za 25 odstotkov bolj energetsko činkovito od konvencionalnega, kajti pesticidi so zelo uh, energetsko intenzivni. Um, in addition, uh, because we're not using um, detergents that are polluting to the environment, fewer toxic ingredients Um, fewer petrochemicals, fewer sulfate detergents are going into our rivers and waterways. In ker ne uporabljamo detergentov, ki onesnažujejo okolje, to pomeni, da se v naše reke, v naše vodne poti steka manj toksičnih sestavin, manj topil, um, ki onesnažujejo okolje ali so strupeni. And in addition, we are not using cosmetic ingredients that are produced 
in a way that pollutes the environment. So, for example, um, in an, under organic standards, we can't use rose absolute because it's been processed with a solvent that's damaging to the environment. We can only use rose essential oil as an ingredient. Um. Poleg tega, ker uporabljamo, ker ne uporabljamo uh, takšnih sestavin, ki onesnažujejo okolje, uporabljamo sestavine, ki pravzaprav so predelani na način, ki ne onesnažujejo okolje, to pomeni, da uh, tudi, ko imamo naš organski standard, ne moremo zaradi tega uporabljati vrtnice v absolutnem pomenu besede, temveč lahko uporabimo le eterično olje vrtnico, kajti uh, absolutna vrtnica uporablja to pilo, vsebuje to pilo. So, natural organic, these are words that are used very interchangeably, like synonyms all the time, but what's the difference? Besedi naravno in organsko se velikokrat uporabljata kot sinonima, to da med njima je razlika, kakšna je. The problem is, as, and I, I like to quote the um, Women's Environmental Network, which is a UK organisation that uh, does a lot of research in this area, um, natural is a meaningless word that can be applied to ingredients derived from petrol as much as from plants. Tukaj si zelo rada pomagam s citatom organizacije o Združenem kraljestvu z imenom Women's Environmental Network, torej ženska okolska mreža, ki opravlja veliko raziskav na tem področju in ta citat se glasi, naravno je prazna beseda, ki jo lahko uporabljamo za sestavine, ki bodi si so pridobljene iz nafte ali pa iz rastlin. Part of the reason for this is that there is no legal definition in the European Union for what a natural cosmetic is. You can call something natural if it contains 1% natural ingredients. Delni razlog za to je, da v Evropi ni pravne opredelitve za naravno kozmetiko. Besedo naravno lahko uporabljate že, če vaš izdelek vsebuje zgolj en odstotek naravnih sestavin. There is a national certification for cosmetics that's issued by a, um, an organization called the BDIH in Germany. Obstaja tudi tako imenovani naravni certifikat, ki ga izdaja organizacija BDIH iz Nemčije. This limits some of the potentially toxic ingredients I was talking about earlier. Ta certifikat omejuje nekatere toksične sestavine, o katerih sem govorila malo prej. They encourage the use of organic ingredients, but they're not mandatory. And there's only a very small list of um, organic ingredients that has to be used. Ta organizacija sicer spodbuja uporabo organskih sestavin, vendar njihova uporaba ni obvezna in njihov spisek organskih sestavin, ki jih moraš uporabljati, je zelo kratek. So why go that extra step to organic? Well, as I mentioned earlier, organic agriculture um, is sustainable agriculture. Um, it increases biodiversity, helps protect wildlife and is more energy efficient. So should keep us going for several more hundred years as it has done for the past millennia. Torej, zakaj se nam splača storiti ta korak več? Organska, organsko kmetovanje je trajnostni način kmetovanja. Prav, prav tako um, povečuje oziroma ohranja biotsko raznolikost in tudi ščiti naravno živeče oziroma prosto živeče živali in rastline. In kot sem že omenila, je tudi bolj energetsko učinkovito in vse to omogoča, da bomo lahko živeli še več sto let, kot smo že sedaj več tisoč let. Very importantly, um, organic ingredients offer more health benefits than natural ingredients. There's no risk of pe pesticides and herbicides being absorbed through the skin. Poleg tega je zelo pomembno tudi to, da organske sestavine prinašajo več koristi za zdravje. Sedaj s takšno rabo ni več nevarnosti, da bi v našo kožo prodirali herbicidi in pesticidi. And this is a real risk. Uh, however hard it is to actually understand that something from that is put on the ground and, and goes through a cosmetic product can end up in your skin. To dejansko je tveganje. Čeprav je težko razumeti, da nekaj, kar je zraslo na polju, na zemlji, lahko prodre skozi kožo in vam škodi. Two recent Danish studies show um, a link between pesticides 
that have been absorbed through the skin and have entered the body and been found in breast milk and cell disruption in baby boys. Uh, prav, kar so bil, bili objavljeni dve danski študiji, ki kažeta, da obstaja povezava med pesticidi, ki so uh, se absorbirali, ki jih je telo absorbiralo skozi kožo in so potem pravzaprav njihovi sledovi bili um, odkriti v mleko doječe matere. In prav tako je bila tudi odkrita povezava med pesticidi in uničevanjem celic pri uh, fantkih dojenčkih. And finally, in plants that have been grown organically have also been shown to have lots more vitamins and minerals in than plants grown conventionally. In uh, tudi pomembno je to, da organsko pridelane sestavine oziroma rastline imajo veliko več vitaminov in mineralov kot konvencionalno pridelane rastline. And this is great for skin care because more vitamins and minerals mean more antioxidant effects that help to counteract premature aging. In to je odlično za njego kože, kaj ki več vitaminov in več mineralov pomeni, da uh, imamo več antioksidantov, ki se borijo torej proti prezgodnjemu staranju kože. I'd like to move on to why organic certification is so important. Zdaj pa bi preskočila na del moje predstavitve, ki pravi o tem, ki govori o tem, zakaj je tako pomembno organsko certificiranje. Can I just ask a question? Um, I'd like to know how many people know that organic is not a, a legal or a legally protected term for cosmetics products in the European Union. Začela bi s tem, da bi vprašala vprašanje, koliko med vami vas ve, da organsko ni pravno zaščiten pojem, ko gre za kozmetiko v Evropi? How many of you? Few, but not many. Nekaj, ne pa veliko. So with food products, if you want to um, produce an organic carrot, you have to have an organic certification in the EU before you can sell it as an organic carrot. If you want to produce an organic shampoo, you can call it organic if it's got practically no organic ingredients in it at all. Torej, ko gre za hrano, lahko, na primer, če želite vi pridelati in prodajati organsko ali ekološko prideljeni korenček, zato potrebujete certifikat, preden to lahko storite. Medtem, ko če želite uh, prodajati organski šampon, ga lahko, lahko to storite, če praktično nima skoraj da nobene naravne sestavine oziroma organske sestavine. So, as a result, many brands think, well, why should we bother certifying our products? And they either describe their products as organic without any certification, or some even make up logos that look quite similar to real certification symbols. Um, you'll see the one, it's actually upside down, but the one on the top left is, is the Soil Association organic standard, which is the main UK organic standard. The one in the middle is the French standard, which um, is an organic standard that is uh, similar to the Soil Association, but not quite as strict. And um, the one on the right is another UK organic standard. In uh, rezultat tega je, da le malo znamk uh, želi pridobiti certifikate za svoje izdelke, pravzaprav ne vidijo potrebe. Tako bodi si um, označujejo svoje izdelke kot organske brez, certifika- brez certifikata ali pa celo um, dodajajo na svoje izdelke takšne logotipe, ki so podobni resničnim, avtentičnim certifikatom. In to lahko vidite z te prosolnice, ko na zgornjem, na zgornji alineji vidite standarde, na levi zgornji standard je, oziroma logotip je logotip Soil Association, ki je vodilna organizacija, certifikacijska organizacija na tem področju v Združenem kraljestvu. Naslednji je EcoCert, ki je francoski organizacijski standard, ki je podoben um, podoben uh, Soil Association, vendar je manj strok in še na desni je drug uh, standard iz Združenega kraljestva. So, c- certified organic cosmetics um, are really the only way for consumers to know that they've got an authentic organic product. If there's no symbol on the packaging, there's no real guarantee for consumers that the product is as organic as it says it is. Tako da organska kozmetika, le tista organska kozmetika, ki je certificirana, jamči pristnost organskega izdelka. Če torej na organskem izdelku, na, na kozmetičnem izdelku ni simbola, 
ki bo nazarja certifikat, nimate oziroma potrošnik nima jamstva, da je ta izdelek dejansko organski, čeprav tako tudi trdi. Da ne bo pomote v spodnji vrstici so primeri takih lažnih certifikatov, ko nekdo svojo trditev mečkan grafično obdeluje, da spomeni na takšni certifikat, ki v resnici ne obstaja. Noben pisani standard in preverenje ne stoji za tem. Ta leva je zelo pogosna. Oh, yeah. The left one is very common uh, among the false logos. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so we in in the UK, the main certifying organisation is the Soil Association, and it's actually uh, the strictest cosmetic standard in Europe at the moment. V Združenem kraljestvu je glavni certifikacijski organ Soil Association in gre za najstroži standard v Evropi trenutno, ko gre za organsko kozmetiko. They require a very high level of organic ingredients to be used and wherever they are available, we have to use ingredients grown by organic agriculture. Uh, ta standard zah- zahteva visoko raven rabe organskih sestavin in če so sestav- takšne sestavine na voljo, moramo uporabljati sestavine, ki so bile pridelene uh, z organskim oziroma ekološkim kmetovanjem. So, for example, if it's cheaper to use non-organic rose oil, um, we can't because we have to use the organic option if it exists. Če torej ceneje uporabiti neorgansko vrtnično olje, mi tega ne smemo, ker če obstaja, moramo dejansko uporabiti organsko olje. And that's important because sometimes the organic price can actually be double the non-organic price or even more than double. In to je pomembno, kaj ti cena za organsko sestavino je lahko več kot dvakrat višja kot za neorgansko. Sometimes organic ingredients don't exist. For example, there are no organic emulsifiers or organic detergents yet. Časih organskih sestavin ni na voljo, niso na razpolago. Na primer, še, še vedno ne obstajajo organski emulgatori ali detergenti. And in this case, the Soil Association applies what's called a precautionary principle. So if there is any doubt over the um, toxicity of the ingredient for either humans or the environment, then we are not allowed to use it. Pri tem Soil Association uporablja tako imenovano previdnostno načelo. Če torej obstaja kakršen kol ali dvom o strupenosti neke sestavine, bodi si za ljudi ali za okolje, je ne smemo uporabiti. In addition, we're not allowed to use any genetically modified uh, ingredients. That only applies to non-organic ingredients because all organic ingredients are by definition GM-free, not genetically modified. Prav tako ne smemo uporabljati nobenih genetsko spremenjenih sestavin, to seveda velja za neorganske sestavine, kajti organske sestavine so že po definiciji takšne, da ne vsebujejo genetsko spremenjenih sestavin. Animal testing has never been allowed under organic standards and no ingredients derived from dead animals are allowed either. Prav tako pri organskih proizvodih ni dovoljeno testiranje na živalih, in uh, sestavine nikoli ne smejo biti pridobljene iz mrtvih živali. I just go through briefly what we need to do to get this famous organic certificate. Over here um, is a little diagram showing what we need to do to get certification. Zelo na kratko bom pojasnila še kateri so koraki, kaj se moramo storiti, da dejansko pridobimo organski certifikat. In to na, vidite na schemi desno. All of the formulations that we produce have to be checked and approved what ingredient by ingredient and the labels have to be checked thoroughly to make sure they match the formulations that we are stating. Vse sestavine oziroma vsa sestava našega izdelka se temeljito preveri in uh, odobri. Poleg tega se preveri in odobri tudi oznake na naših izdelkih, tako da se dejansko preveri ali to, kar je napisano na naših oznakah, dejansko tudi drži. If an ingredient isn't available in organic quality, we have to produce a lot of paperwork to prove that it's not available in organic quality. And this encourages suppliers and manufacturers to produce more ingredients in organic quality. Če neka organska sestavina ni na voljo, moramo sestaviti oziroma pripraviti ogromno količino dokumentacije, da to tudi dokažemo. To nekako tudi spodbuja dobavitelje in proizvajalce, da proizvajajo vse več organskih sestavin, sestavin, ki so organske kakovosti. 
The organic ingredients that we use are continually audited to make sure that we are using the right amount of organic ingredients and aren't cheating by using less. Tudi uh, organske sestavine se redno preverjajo tako da se preverja količina organskih sestavin ki jih uporabljamo preverja se torej da ne lažemo da ne goljufamo in uporabljamo manjše količine. Every year our production unit is inspected to make sure that we are continuing to produce to organic standards and that we are not damaging the environment through our production. Vsako leto naš uh, proizvodni obrad uh, tudi obiščejo inšpektorji ki preverjajo ali se še vedno držimo organskih standardov in ali še vedno delujemo na tak način ki ne škoduje okolju. And at the end of those many long months you get your organic certificate. It actually took us about a year to become certified for the very first time. In po vseh teh dolgih mesecih dejansko potem uh, lahko dobiš organski certifikat. Pr- za prvi naš izdelek smo pravzaprav potrebovali celo leto. 